Hi Scorpio, I'm Sephra Jerone and I'm here to bring you your tarot scope. It's the week of November the 12th, today's Saturday. So, you guys, well you guys, I'm assuming, no, don't say you guys, the United States, I'm in Canada, I'm in Toronto, the United States just had an election in case you didn't notice, um, and one of the candidates was Hillary Clinton who is a Scorpio. So it'll be interesting to see which card we pull today. Ace of Cups. How interesting is that? How very interesting is that? Now, the Ace of Cups, I know so many Scorpios, almost all of you do really amazing things. You have weird jobs. You, you know, I know, um, you know, I know mediums, ghost hunters, actors, uh, people in power, people not so much in power, writers, directors, there's so many Scorpios. A couple of the actors I have crushes on are Scorpios. You know, it's like, Scorpio is a thing. <laughs> Anyways, so the Ace of Cups, very amazing. Cups is a suit I usually look at as creative energy because I'm a writer in, when I'm not taroting or editing. I'm a, I'm a freelance writer. And uh, so I look at Cups as all the arts. I look at it as writing and painting and poetry and music and dancing and all that great stuff. But cups are also about emotions. Usually cups represent love. If you're asking a love question, you want to see some cups, the good cups, not the shitty cups. Um, you know, the knight in shining armor carrying a cup is like the ultimate love card, you know, for someone coming into your life. So the hand of God bringing the ace of cups in, which is actually the holy grail, knowledge and wisdom. So Scorpio, you need, you're tapping into all kinds of things this week, all kinds of things. Emotions are running high, good and bad. Um, it's very emotional time. That's new beginnings and uh, uh, new, new ways to tackle things, new opportunities, because Ace of Cups is a new job, a new opportunity, a new creative opportunity. So, you know, with regards to Hillary, for instance, uh, she didn't win the presidency, but certainly her life has turned into, she now has new opportunities that she wouldn't have had as president that she can now explore in her life, whether it's professional or personal, uh, tapping into areas that she can uh, help women and help uh, whatever uh, mandates she has that she can continue to work in. Um, she d it's a turn turning the page kind of card. So Ace of Cups, you know, it's a really good card. It's a, a you know, it is, it is very emotional. So maybe it's shitty emotions. Maybe you're all really angry right now. Maybe you're all going Kylo Ren on everything. Um, cause it can be all that too, right? But Ace of Cups, I see it as fantastic opportunities. There's lots of lily pads in the picture, you know, spiritual ideas, transformation. So really tap into your spiritual side, your transformation, your love and compassion and empathy for your fellow human beings. And uh, for some of you, you're gonna get a really amazing brand new creative opportunity. <laughs> so let's hope there's a Star Wars 3. No. <laughs> Anyways. Good luck, Scorpio. Enjoy this really magnificent card. Okay? Bye for now. See? Oh, 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 oh. Before I forget, because usually this is supposed to be a love horoscope, <laughs> but I was, I'm all distracted, of course. So, those of you looking for a new boyfriend or girlfriend, you just might do that this week. Ace of Cups. There, you may have new love coming into your life. Uh, and send them over here. Yeah. <laughs> I want that guard. I need that guard too. Okay, anyways, good luck, Scorpio. Have some fun. Bye for now. Yeah, so go out tonight. Go dancing tonight. You might meet someone new and someone you may have a really nice long-term relationship with. So good luck with that, Scorpio. Bye.